Hello guys. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can install this mod right here, where it actually lets you play as a pal and you can play as any pal you want. So if you guys don't know, I started a series on my channel where I show you guys how to install certain mods because some mods are more harder to install than others. So I thought this one would be a perfect one for a video, mainly because it can be a little bit complicated. And as far as I can tell, there's really no instructions when it comes to installing this mod. And if you're not that experienced with installing mods, then this one can be a little tricky because the mod creator did not really put any instructions on how to install this mod. So I'm going to show you guys that in this video. And then at the end of the video, we're going to do a little mod showcase to show you guys how the mod works. So the first thing you want to do is go to nexusmods.com slash powerworld. There you can find all the powerworld mods. But if you want this specific mod, I will link it in the description down below. Now, when you're on this page, normally I would advise you guys to read the description to get the instructions on how to download it. But like I said, the mod creator did not really put any clear instructions. So I'm going to show you guys, this will work for single player and this will be for steam users. So if you're on steam, this should work. If you're on game pass, it might be a little bit different. I'm not sure how it works for game pass. So the first thing you want to do is open up steam. You want to go to power world. You want to right click it, go to manage and go to browse local files. Once you do that, you should see this right here. Now we're going to minimize this for now, but we are going to need it later. Now, what you can do is go right here to where it says requirements. You would click it and here you would see you need the UE4 SS. What you can do is go to Google, type in UE4 SS download, click the first one by GitHub. Once you do that, you'll be brought to this page right here. Then you just want to scroll down until you get see this right here, the UE4 SS 3.0.1 zip. Now you're going to need something to extract the zip folder. So I suggest using WinRAR. WinRAR is an easy program, free to download. You would go to this link right here that will also be in the description down below. You would just download the English 64 bit version or whatever language you guys speak. Just make sure it's the 64 bit. Once you do that, you're going to open up the zip folder that you just downloaded and it will open up in WinRAR. Then what we want to do is just back, go back one, and then you will see it right here. UE4 SS 3.0.1. You see it a lot of times here because I've done a few of these videos already. So just for demonstration purposes, what you want to do now is make sure you're highlighted on it. Then you want to go to where it says extract two. Then you want to hit OK. What this is going to do is extract it to an actual folder. So now when we go to the folder section here, you can see the UE4 SS. And if we open it one time, you would see this right here. And this is what we're going to have to transfer to our Pal World files. And then you guys remember what we opened earlier. You'll just still be on this page right here. Then you want to go to where it says Pal Binaries. Win64, and here you normally wouldn't see some of this stuff, so you wouldn't see mods folder, you wouldn't see the UE4SS. This is exactly what we're going to transfer over to this section. So when you're in this section, you would just highlight this and you would just drag it over into here. And that's basically how you would get the mods folder and how you get the UE4SS settings, which is also important. I'm going to show you guys why later in the video. Now, once you do that, you are good. UE4SS is installed and you can move on to downloading the mod. So we're back at the Nexus page right here. Now, what you want to do is go to files and here you want to download the first one right here. You want to go to manual download. You want to go to download. You want to open up the zip folder using WinRAR. Then you want to go back one. You want to make sure it's highlighted. You want to go to extract. You want to hit OK. Once you extract it, you want to find the regular folder. So right here, play as pals. When you open it one time, you will see logic mods. And if you open it again, you will see it as a pack file. What you want to do, I'm just going to repeat it again really quickly, is you want to go to Power World in your Steam library. You want to right click, go to manage, browse local files. This will pop up and we have to put that pack folder or that pack file, I mean, into our logics folder. So from here, you want to go to pal, you want to go to content and you want to go to packs. Now, if you're new and you just started out, you might not see this mods folder and you might not see a logic mods folder. If you don't have one, you can create one. Just right click, um, hit new, create a folder and just title it logic mods. Exactly how you see it here. When you open it up, some pack mods will end up going in this section, like my creative menu mod or the minimap mod. So when we open up the extracted folder where it says a logic mod, I mean, you can also transfer that as well. So let's say you don't have logic mod. You could just transfer this over into there. But what we're going to do is we're going to open up the logic mod in the extracted folder. Then we're going to open it up in our thing right here. Then we're just going to drag over play as pals pack into our thing. And then it should be in there like this. So you would go pal world, pal content packs, logic mods, and place it in here. Just make sure you place it in your logic mods folder and not your regular mods folder, because then it will not work. Now, once you do that, you should be good to go. Now I'm going to say this before we start up the game and I show you guys how the mod works. If you're having trouble with crashes while you're opening the game, what you can do, if you're still on this section right here, go up here and just click on pal. Then you want to click on binaries. 
Win64 to where you're back to this section. Then you want to go down to UE4 SS settings. You want to open this up and then you want to scroll down a little bit till you see this right here. Be use U object array cache. By default, it's gonna say true, and you wanna change it to false, exactly how you see it here. This should help avoid a lot of crashes during startups, with a lot of mods actually, not just this one, but a lot of mods recommend that you put this to false because it does help with the crashing. When you're done with that, you wanna hit file, you wanna make sure it's saved, then you can just X this out, and we should be good to go. So we're gonna open up the game now, and we're gonna test out the mod, and in the description, he shows you some of the controls if you are having trouble. So we're going to go into the game now and we're going to see if this mod works and how it works. Now, when the game opens, you're going to see this pop up on your screen. So this tells me that the mod is installed correctly. I don't know if there's a way to remove this every time I start up the game, but it's definitely very helpful, especially when you want to know the controls and it actually works on controller as well. OK, so now that we're in a game, all we have to do is just walk up to a pal and we would hit the right key. So if we walk up to the cats over right here and we try to go in his body. Okay, boom, and we're playing. Oh my God, we're actually playing as a pal. Okay, now the instructions on the mod website is a little bit different than the uh, control binds that they just gave me in game, but it does work. And then I believe if we wanna leave this body, all we have to do is do that and we pop right out. So I believe when you walk up to a pal, if you're on keyboard, you can hit the alt key. So when you hit alt, you would go inside the pal or basically become the pal. Now, even though it's kind of bugged right now and I could see my character's name, but I am playing as the Memorist. I'm not writing a Memorist. I'm playing as the Memorist, which is really, really cool. Now, I believe if you're having trouble with your camera, sometimes you could spawn really far to the left or really far to the right. If you hit the K on your keyboard, you would get like a slider thing. And I think here you can actually slide and change the camera around. I don't really want to do it on mine because mine actually seems like to be pretty good right now. And then if you want to hop out of the PAL, you would just hit the tilde key right next to the number one. On your keyboard and boom you should pop right out and on controller it's pretty simple so you can see they're left on your d-pad or no sorry right on your d-pad to go in and then left on your d-pad to hop on out and that is how you pretty much can take over any pal now the mod's not perfect as you can see i hopped out the memorest and i'm pretty much invisible i can still move around but we are kind of bugged so uh, yeah, this mod um, definitely needs some work because it's a little bit laggy, but it's a lot better than how it was when it first got released. But being able to take over any pal you want and play as them is amazing. It feels like I'm in some like alternative Pokemon game where I'm playing as the Pokemon. And as far as I know, the pals that you actually go into, I don't think you're able to use their abilities, although some say differently on their post, on the blog post, on the mod site. So maybe you are, if you guys know how to use the pal's abilities when you take them over, let me know in the comments. And then if I try to take over my own pal, I wonder if that works as well. So we have the boss pal right here, Zoe and Grisbalt, and we're gonna see if we could actually take over. Okay, so you can't do it with your controlled pals, but you can do it with wild pals. Oh no, you can do it. Oh my God, I just did it. So we are actually controlling Grisbolt right now with Zoe, the Zoe boss on top of us. So it essentially looks like I'm playing as her, even though I'm playing as my own person. No way. We are Anubis. Oh my God. We are actually playing as Anubis right now. This is really, really cool. This mod has so much potential. I feel like if they fix a lot of the bugs in it, and uh, make it so we can actually fight as the pals. That would be amazing. If this video was helpful and you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe and let me know in the comments what mod you want me to try to do a video on next. And if you're having any trouble with the mod, you can either comment down below and I'll try to help you, or you can add me on Discord, Simply Amazing YT, and send me a message there and that way I can help you a lot easier. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one.